Well, hello. Welcome to Issy Stero. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do your weekly love prediction reading for Virgo for October 7th through October 13th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know that energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. With my loyal, kind, loving, fun, sweet Virgos. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Virgos? Let's see, Virgos. What you got going on? Show me, Virgos. Let's see, spirit guys. Show me what Virgos have going on. Ten of Pentacles. The moon. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, <sighs> Virgo, 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 Virgo. You know, whomever you're with, you and this man, this is all about legacy. You know, it's about um, having money, having the family, having, you know, it's just legacy is here. Legacy is leading your reading. That's all you've been thinking about is legacy with this person. However, next to this legacy card is the moon card. The moon card is about deception, betrayal, lies. People telling you one thing and doing another thing. It also can represent a Pisces sun sign. This is someone that, you know, tells you they want a family, but they don't want a family. They tell you they want to be with you, but they really don't want to be with you. They, you know, that's what they tell you because they feel like that's what you want to hear. In the middle of the reading is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about somebody who got a whole bunch of issues. I'm just going to be very honest. They got a bunch of issues. Um, issues within themselves. You know, this Ten of Wands, it's just issues. Issues within themselves. They just got issues. They tell you one thing and you just know that this is the one. But they're, uh-uh. No. They're not telling you the truth. This is someone that has issues. That's all I can say. Six of Wands is next to the Nine of Pentacles, the last two cards in this portion of your reading. Six of Wands is winning. Six of Wands is about, hey, I'm winning no matter what. And Virgo, I strongly believe that you're saying that you're not going to let these issues, because the issues are in the middle of your reading, get next to you. Because, see, you've really seen what they're about now. You know, people show you what they're, you know, they, their real person has shown up. You see them for what they're about now. You know what they're about now. You see all their issues. And don't get me wrong. No one's perfect. But you know what? Some people just tend to lay in those issues and not want to grow or, or be something better. And you know, one thing about a Virgo, they always strive to do better. This person's not like that. This person tells you what you want to hear, but they're not in your camp. They're not in your camp. They don't want the same things you want. They got issues too. You know, it's money issues, insecurity issues, jealousy issues. You know, I'm not good enough issues. I mean, all of that. All that baby mama maybe issues. I mean, with money. I mean, all, all sorts of issues. Do you want to deal with that? You know, sometimes we get clouded because we want something thinking that this is the one without really seeing what it's really about. Like I said, Six of Wands is winning. That's about winning. You know, I was going to say that they were going to win on their issues, but I don't see them winning on their issues because here's this Nine of Pentacles, which is to me, is about being doing your own thing. It's about doing your own thing. Some people say it's not about being single, but I look at it as my single card. It's about doing your own thing and making your own way and not worrying about anybody else. Let them do their thing and you do your thing. And I strongly believe that's what's going to happen with this relationship. You're going to let them move on and do their thing and you're going to do your thing because they have told you a bunch of stuff, but they told you a bunch of lies. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading just to see additionally what the spirit guys and want you to know about this relationship. Sit back, relax. Just give me three to five minutes, Virgo. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for my Virgos? Show me why the Ten of Pentacles is here for Virgos. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Let's see, Virgos. The Magician, I told you. You've been manifesting this. You want this really bad. 
You wanted this really bad, this legacy with this person, this family. You thought they were it. Yet you found out deception and lies and betrayal. Illusions, they tell you exactly what you want to hear. <laughs> but they're not it. Just being honest. Let's see why this moon card is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the moon card here for my Virgos? Show me why the moon card is here for Virgos. Yep, there's a, there's a nine of cups. You thought they checked out your boxes. You were content. You were satisfied. You were ready to go to the next level. You wanted legacy. You wanted family. You you were ready. You were ready. You were ready to go to the next level. However, this person, and I'll say it again, no, no. <laughs> you know, uh, they faked the funk. They just faked it. They faked it. And I'm sorry, but they did. They told you what you wanted to hear, not what was real. He only told you what you wanted to hear, not what was real. So let's see. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Show me. Three of Swords. I told you. Heartbreak. 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 Over Because these issues. You thought they were the one. I told you. He only told you what you wanted to hear. He was never in your camp. He was never on your side. He told you what you wanted to hear, but he always had issues. And I think you just didn't see those because you chose not to see them because you manifested this and you wanted this so badly. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Wands here for my Virgos? Show me why the Six of Wands is here for my Virgos. Show me spirit, guys. Page of Wands. Yeah, he's fun, exciting. You know, you felt you were winning. You guys do a lot of things. But, you know, it's time. When I see the page of wands here, it's also, it's time for you to get your life back. I think you could get your, it's time for you to get your life back. Because my winning, because Six of Wands is winning. And I think that once you move on from him, your life will come back. You'll get your life back. Page of Wands is like doing things for yourself, enjoying life. You know, going to school, learning to school, but not, all those things, fly, uh, skydive, whatever, going to fashion shows, whatever you like to do. The page of wands is that. It's learning. Because, see, you've been stuck with this person because all you could see was him. All you could see because you were ready to move on to the next level. But he, he was just faking. He's a fake. He's a fake. Now, let's see why this nine of pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups. Yep. Well, Ten of Cups is my happily ever after card. And it's over this Nine of Pentacles. Because you know what? This just tells me. You're going to get your happily ever after, but you're just not going to get it with him. You're going to get your happily ever after, but it's not going to be with this man. It just simply is not going to be with him. But you are going to get your happily ever after. Absolutely. You're going to get your wedding and a ring, a date, all of that. Your kids, a legacy. But he's not the one. So let's start at the very beginning. The Ten of Pentacles. That's legacy. You would look. You just knew this man was the one. Because you, you wanted it. You had manifested this. The magician card is here. You'd ask the universe for it. And you thought that the universe had given it to you. But he's not the one. He told you what you wanted to hear. But he's a fake. He's a fake. He is a fake. The moon card is there. He's, he lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. Deception. Betrayal. Because you know what? Anytime. Why did he have to lie? That's And I hear you saying that. Because, you know, you're pretty open. You could have. He could have told you the truth. I'm not ready for this. I don't want this. I, I would have taken that more than you t lying to me. That's what I hear you saying. Because see, the nine of cups is here. You, you were satisfied and content. And then all of a sudden. Something showed you where he was lying or either he did say something to you, but he was lying. Now, I'm going to tell you what might have showed you that because the three of hearts, excuse me, the three of swords is up here. Three of swords is heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak of this ten of wands. I'm going to tell you he's got issues. That's what you saw. You finally saw the issues that he has. Could be other women, could be baby mamas, could be no money, could be lack of self-confidence. I mean, lack of all, all of that. You saw all of that. Then here you are, the Six of Wands winning. And you're winning because guess what? You're taking your life back. With that Page of Wands, he could have been fun too. I'm not saying that he wasn't. I'm, I'm sure he was. 
But with that page of wands, that means you're doing things that you want to do now. Because there's that nine of pentacles, which means, hey, you're doing your, your own thing. It's not just about him anymore. You're getting your life back. Because the Ten of Cups is there. And that Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. You are going to get your happily ever after. It's just not him, Virgo. It's just not him, Virgo. You're going to get it, but it's just not him. Let's see. Let's see what my oracles have to say to you, Virgo. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Ooh. Well, they're not wasting any time. They say no. Straight the box. My oracles are saying no. He's not the one. I said that. You're going to get your happily ever after. It's just not with him. They say also recovery, which means, like I told you, you're going to come back. You're coming back from this. Um, and also, I'm just going to pull. No need to worry. That's what my cards are telling you. No need to worry. <laughs> they said, if you believe, Virgo, if you believe, remain positive. Remain positive. Remain positive. Remain positive. You're going to get it. You're going to get it back. Here's my favorite card that's coming out. Prayer works. Meditation brings answers. Prayer works. Prayer works. Hey, like I said, you're going to get your ha happily ever after, but it's not with him. It's just simply it's not with him. And I don't know how else to say it to you, Virgo. You're going to get it, but it's just not with him. I'm going to pull these last couple of cards here too, because it says trust. You've got to build, you've got to trust again. You've got to build yourself up again. You're happy now You because you know what? Now you know what you're dealing with. You know he's a liar, a cheater. He tells he's he's mm -mm, he's a fake. He's a fake. He's not your happily ever after. Last card I'm gonna pull. Well, well, I say last card, but you know these cards will keep coming out, so I'm gonna keep pulling them. If they keep coming out, I'm gonna keep pulling them, and I'm gonna pull them all the way until you know. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep pulling. You know this is a card that I'm gonna pull because it says perfect timing. That means perfect timing. Somebody's around you, but when the time is right, that's when they'll come. That's when it'll be your happily ever after. Also, I'm going to pull big happy changes. Your life is going to change for the better once you get rid of him. It says yes, 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 yes. This last card that I'm going to pull is telling you exactly what I want you to know. A year from now. A year from now. Just think about it. Listen to this reading and hopefully... And I'm going to say, a year from now, you'll be in a totally different situation with someone that is your happily ever after. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Virgo.